Welcome to the Jacob's Well Done Show, episode 10. Hey, 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 you want to can it? This is my show. Okay. He hasn't been on it for five seconds and he's taking over. It's a story of our lives. Boy. <clears throat> Boys. Go I'm ahead. sorry, Aunt Jane. This is episode 10 of the Jacob's Well Done Show, so we thought we'd mix it up a little bit. We got Grace out of here, <laughs> right? Finally. This is my Aunt Jan and my oldest brother, Jonathan. So thanks to all my fans. I just wanted to take this opportunity to That's say That's great. It's been a long time coming. Let's roll the intro. So Aunt Jan is the guest on today's show, and Jonathan is the replacement co-host uh, slash warm body, just like the first guy we could find off the street. Hi mom. <laughs> Finally made it. Um, and Aunt Jan has been our aunt. She's been my aunt uh, my whole life mm-hmm. mm. since the day I was born. Wow. Profound. And yes. I just, that just means so much to me. Mm-hmm. How old are you this year? You have a birthday? This year. Oh, no, me. No, just. All right. I am 57 years old. Oh, my Do you have gosh. A, everything are you okay? Taken I'm care okay. of? Are you okay. Okay. The uh, wills is the will, squared yes, away. Because I'm leaving all my money to you, okay. Jonathan. Okay, that's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll handle mm-hmm. that for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me if there's no You're doing one. fine. Okay. You're about okay, 75 good. over okay, good. seven. Should I be looking this way when we're talking, or should I be doing this? Because I feel like I'm doing a lot of this. It makes me uncomfortable when you look at me. So. Okay. Just don't look at me. Because that's really weird. Could you look? Mm, could you clock. look at the clock up there? Mm-hmm. Look at the light. And Just the... all right. So my aunt Jan has uh, bought a business in Haiti. Purchase. It's a. It's like a shoe store slash. They make inexpensive <laughs> items for. How would you describe it? What is it that you do? <laughs> all these years, I what have sworn. you been doing? So she went down to Haiti to help out uh, Coke. Coca-Cola, they have a distribution sort of bottling center down there. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I don't know what you do. I'll get it, though. So my Aunt Jan um, Jan. started a, mainly my Aunt Jan, started a a ministry in Haiti uh, called Christopher's Hope. Mm -hmm. You want to explain to us what that is and what you're doing down there? Okay. My three teenagers and I went to Haiti in 2007. And one of the first little boys that we started helping out is named Christopher, and he's deaf. And we began helping his mom. His mom was a single mom, just like I was. And so we started helping her, got Christopher enrolled in a deaf school. And because of that being our first little boy we helped, that's what we named our ministry after. And so now it's gone on to where I have 36 children. And Christopher's not in our orphanage, but there's 36 Hopesters in the orphanage. That's the name of the kids. Yeah, we call them Hopesters instead of orphans because it's not quite so maybe hopeless sounding. But anyway, so Christopher still comes to my house every day to have school there. And then there's another little boy in the orphanage who's deaf. And so he joins him at my house and their teacher's deaf. So how old is Christopher now? Christopher is 13 now. How has that all played out? So, I mean, how do you start an orphanage in another country? So you had to go there, you had to apply for things, and mm-hmm. you're you have a to citizen work. there. I'm a citizen, had to do that um, in order to be able to buy the house. Uh, in order to buy property in Haiti, you have to get a signature of the Minister of Justice, and so I had all this paperwork to do. And it was probably about a year, year and a half process. Before I learned how to forge his signature. Yeah, absolutely. It took a long time, yes, super complicated. Yes. So then after you buy the house, you've got to start working with social services in Haiti. A lot of people think there's no infrastructure in Haiti, but there really is. And so we started working with social services. And again, that process to get licensed in Haiti is about probably it took us almost two years to get all the paperwork finished wow. on that. And then they bring children to our orphanage as well as we get them from different parts of Haiti. You, like, actually go out and find them? Yes. Wow. I have a director cool. who's a pastor, and he knows where lots of children are who need help in his area where his church is. How much money per child does it take to, to run the orphanage or to fund that child for a year or a month? I've never heard that. Hmm. I always wondered. And we've never figured that out. That's probably why you've never heard it, because we don't do sponsorships in our orphanage. Mm-hmm. And so whenever... Yeah, so back off, okay? <laughs> Kind of a personal question, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what we want is for 36 kids to feel like this is home. Mm-hmm. And so my directors are like the mom and dad, I'm like the grandma, 
And so we just make it a real family oriented. Mm -hmm. So if we have sponsorships, that ends up being that some people would bring gifts, some people would would do extra things, come visit them, and we just want to make it more of a home atmosphere, yep. keep them all the same. Yeah. Do you have plans to bring in more kids, or is it like <coughs> 36 is more than we can handle already, or we want a thousand, or what's the? We've got six bedrooms, and they are totally full right now. Okay, hang on. 36 kids, six bedrooms. Six in each room. That's like, no, I'll get it. Right, Carrie, two. Christopher, that's Alfred. like, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> yeah. Jaws. So, yes, I am looking at buying another house. Wow. And moving the older boys into that house and then filling up this one and beginning to move more into that house. When would you like to get that house or when do you anticipate being able to get that house money provided i would like to get the house this year yeah yeah, yeah. and so i i don't even have the house picked out usually how things operate is god sends the money and then we go shopping mm -hmm. so but it would be great to get it this year what does it cost to buy a house in haiti I mean, certainly it's less than over here, right? No, uh, they're about the same. Is it really? Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. bought a nine-bedroom house with four bathrooms for 110000 and that was really, really cheap because really? it was really a nice house, yeah. How did you get $110,000 as a little old lady from El Dorado, Kansas, yeah. and then you get this, this house? I'm not old. Thank you, Tyler. I'm going to leave my money you for little. you. little. I'm going to give my money to you. Not that old. <clears throat> I have very good friends who had some tithe money and they felt God leading them to give it to me and it was a very large sum of money hmm. and that bought the house. So if you could say something to the at <clears throat> least 15 people who are on the other side of that camera right now mm -hmm. about Christopher's Hope, specifically maybe the people who are watching who are like, I would like to get more information about that mm -hmm. or maybe even partner with her in that. That lady's super attractive. Yeah. Whatever they're thinking. Actually, let me address that guy. Hey, <laughs> lay off. That That's my aunt, buddy. Um, our family um, verse is, nothing is impossible with God, Luke one thirty seven, And God has just shown that over and over and over again, that a single mom takes three teenagers to Haiti, and within three years of being there, not knowing anybody there, not having a clue what she's doing, we start an orphanage, and now there's 36 children there, and they are happy they're content we're we're discipling them we're teaching about the lord and learning scriptures they're all in school they have three meals a day there's just so many god things happening I wish i could just tell you story after story after story of all that he's doing but if you want to follow more details about it we do have a facebook page and it's www.christophershopeministry.org no well, Aunt Jan, as always, I would just like to give you a hearty Jacob's Well Done. Oh, that is, that's, see, okay. what, that's the name of the show. Yeah, see, it all comes good. back full there circle. You go. Jacob's yes. Well Done oh, Show. Look at this is insane. How do you carry this around in your pocket? Yeah, look at the six plus. Whoa! Can we just can we just talk about can we talk about the evolution of cell phones? This is a full house. Well, it's I guess you haven't seen the beta version of the iPhone 7. Whoa. Okay, that's the papa bear. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. That's yeah. the mama bear. Yeah, uh, what's for dinner? That's the baby bear. Uh-huh. Yeah. I have the Goldilocks phone. Hey, mom. That's unfortunate. Mom, mom. Why am I talking in this weird accent? Here's a, here's a career opportunity for you, just in case stand-in co-hosting doesn't work out. Whatever. There's a job See that later, might Grace. make you flush Never. with flush with cash. Find easily accessible restrooms for Seattle area bus drivers and get paid nearly one hundred thousand dollars per year. I'm moving out east to Seattle on the east. Coast. Okay, so they call these people comfort station coordinators, mm -hmm. right? Because CSCs. because crapper tracker wasn't classy enough right? i think at this point in the conversation it's good to insert that we have a small local septic business <laughs> sunflower septic it's a local yeah, family this, friendly this family literally is this is right up your drain line man sunflower septic is a wonderful company and it is locally owned and operated and if you need think about it 
You need your toilets to flush. Can I tell you something? Because we all need our toilets to flush. Give us a call. Can I tell you something right now? 316-322-7878. This morning at 5.30 a.m., my wife woke me with an alarmed tone in her voice. Mm -hmm. You had wet the bed again. (laughs) I had about 73 juice boxes before I went to bed, too. And let me tell you, it was not pretty. So Molly was alarmed. Molly was alarmed, and it was because our toilet had run Mm -hmm. and run and run and run and had overflown wow overflowed that's flown it overflew all night long yeah and luckily there is a vent right next to the toilet that all the water went down in Hmm. i don't know where that vent goes i don't want to know because it's not on my bathroom floor yeah um but i'm gonna need to have you guys help Help us out. I just wouldn't be crawling under your house anytime soon. Yeah. It's all right. It's all about chi. If and you were like, to put the... Your chi is all over your yard right now, and it's all right. It's all going to come full circle. It's, it's zen. That's, uh, that's, that's karma. That, that's, no, your, your karma get covered in it if it gets out there. Yes, you did it. <laughs> you pulled it off. <laughs> well, thanks for watching episode 10. Along with us, we've seen it also in the lens of this tiny camera in front of us. It looks like it's been pretty good. If you're enjoying it even like a fifth as much as I am, then you're probably going to be able to fit into three of the 36 bedrooms that... Okay, wait. A fifth is 20%. Uh, Sunflowerseptic.com. Nope. Nope. AJservices.net. Family owned. That's enough. I love the well. ESPN bracket challenge. You just brought it over the I love the well. Well, sorry I can't stay. That's fine. Time to get out of here.